Okay, the next segment of our Curdy showers is to treat the floor. We're going to put in the shower pan. We put the Curdy on the walls. You can see we've treated the inside corner with the Curdy band. We've also done a lap seam up here, and we've got a top set piece of Curdy band over a butt seam here. So now our walls are all finished. So let's start on the floor. So if you look and see what Brian's doing, again, he's burning in the thin set using the flat side of the trowel. Now we've gone to a bigger notch trowel than we have to lay the curdy on the walls. This is actually a quarter by three eighths square or U-notch trowel. This happens to be a U-notch he's got here. Either one will do. So we're ready to install that. That's a fairly large size uh, notch trowel because we want to make certain that our, our curdy tray is fully embedded and supported in this thin set. The thin set that we're using here is the same thin set that we use to put the curdy on the walls. It's that non-modified thin set that's regarded as a premium line of, of thin set from whatever manufacturer you choose to use. That's going to give us plenty of bond of our foam tray right to the floor. So again, burning it in and then going at it with the notch trowel, quarter by three eighths, spread right on the subfloor. Brian did give himself a little outline of where it was so he doesn't have to spread a whole lot more than he needs. It's not going to hurt it if it's a little sloppy because the next step is going to be putting the curbs in and we will put the curbs in with the same thin set that we used with the tray. So that's what we're going to be doing next. Right now we're putting this in. All right, we're ready to drop the tray into the thin set. This is a pre-sloped tray. This is a two-piece tray. This is 32 by 60 that we're going to use here. And now Brian is going to make certain that it makes good contact and it's firmly embedded in that thin set. Now it's in. Now Brian, I noticed that we put all the walls up first before we put the tray in. That's not a requirement from Schluter Systems. Uh, I'm thinking it's, it's just a preference thing by the installer. Well, why do you prefer to put the tray in after you get the walls done? Well, you can definitely do it the other way. And actually, in, in our earlier videos, we did show it that way. Uh, I just find that I, you know, I might drop a knife or a lot of thin set on the floor. So that's why I like to do my walls first. Then I can clean the subfloor and get it ready for the tray. So it's just a matter of having a clean substrate for the tray and not working on this the whole time. Okay, very good.